Hi guys, so we are traveling to London soon and I'm so excited and yeah, I have so many things to do today, not just today, before our trip, I have so many things to do but I want to start with my children's hair because I didn't make their hair. My plan was to, okay, last week or two weeks ago, I did twists for them. My plan was that, okay, this weekend I would make attachments for them. However, first of all, I didn't have time. And then secondly, their hair actually looks good in just twists. So I have to go and retwist everybody's hair. <laughs> well, I didn't do Eva's, I didn't do Sophia's own very well. I'll show you guys anyway. I didn't do Sophia's own very well. I just did big, big twists for her. So I'm going to make it like small, smaller twists and just style it very well. But for Eva and Cora, I need to just basically refresh the hair very well. Cora is also having school photograph or school whatever. They're taking their school photos tomorrow. So I have to do Cora's own today. And then tomorrow morning, I'll do um, Sophia's zone. And then tomorrow evening, I'll do Ava's zone. And then we are ready. Nobody's doing my own, by the way. Oh, all this I'll do. There. Nobody's doing my own, no. But anyway, um, yeah, I got Shine and Jam on Amazon. I can't even remember how much I bought this thing. But I remember the thing sounding very ridiculous to me, like the amount. But you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this is Sophia's hair. Her hair looks very rough. Eh? You guys, Sophia's hair has not really been thriving since we came to this UK. I don't know if it's the water, I don't know if it is neglect, I don't know what it is, but her hair hasn't been thriving. She has been losing a lot of hair, her hair has been cutting, she hasn't been retaining length. If you remember Sophia's hair, Sophia's hair is be very, very full and nice, but right now it's okay. So it's not just giving what it used to give and the hair feels so dry even though i moisturize it every day i don't know if you notice she has lots of short short hairs where her hair cuts like her hair really really cuts really really cuts everywhere or even inside you see it even the inside you see that the hair cuts oh hey baby don't worry your hair will grow well okay that's how you guys uh, this child always blows my mind Today, I saw her staring at a bee, like she was just staring at a bee and I know that normally she's scared of flies, right? So I now asked her, are you scared? She said, no, I'm not scared, I'm just curious. I said, ah, ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I almost thought I didn't hear her very well. She was like, I'm not scared, I'm just curious. I was like, oh, no, nice, nice. But yeah, let me go and do Cora's hair. Um, I think they finished having lunch now, so we should be ready. Let me take my shine and jam. Uh, are you cold? Okay. Just that my hair feels somehow. Somehow what? Like when I shake it, it hurts. Your hair? No, my head. Oh, you have headache. So this is Ava M. Um, Cora's hair. So this is Cora's hair. So Cora's hair doesn't get um, um, scattered so easily. I'll show you Ava's hair so you guys will see the difference. And I made their hair the same day or two days apart. Like I made. I think I made Cora's hair on a Saturday and I made Eva's one on a Sunday. Or was it the same day? No. It was, it, was so, it was me and Sophia's that was the same day. Yeah. No. Eva and, and Sophia. Yeah, Eva and Sophia were the same day. So mine was just apart. Yeah. So, but it looks okay. It's not so neat, but it looks okay. Let me show you Eva's one. See, see, see Eva's one. See how Eva's hair looks like. Hair that they made. Uh, uh, three weeks ago. See, just look at this. Yeah. It looks like she has done it one. Yeah, they did one. one month. Eh, we anyway, were just one week. So, anyway, let's go and do Cora's and I'll refresh your own very well. Okay, so we're making progress with Cora's hair. I just refreshed these twists. They are quite big. I didn't make them small, small at all because anybody got time. So, we've done this is like one quarter of the hair. We still have some more to go. But I'm going to make it very fine so that when you take your school picture tomorrow, you will like it. It feels good. Yeah, I'm done. Turn your back. Let's see your back. Whoa, nice. Turn the other side. No, I can't do your hair this night. It's tomorrow. tomorrow you need to go and prepare dinner. Yeah. This is already late. This is already past seven. Now, it will It's already past seven. We're going to eat Eva. Yay, Eva! Do you like Eva? I'm going to take your coffee. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So what are we doing today? Uh, doing my hair. 
Yes, are you excited? You guys, if you remember Sophia before, Sophia used to hate making her hair. She used to, in fact, oh, it was it was something else. But funny enough, since she turned three, I think, since she turned three, like since that December before we left Nigeria, she has been loving making her hair. Every time she wants to make her hair, when I'm even making someone else's hair, she'll be telling me when it's her turn. If I say, okay, let's say, someone, let's say I'm making Cora's hair and Cora stands up to go and wee. So if you quickly sit down, that should make her own hair. I'm like, how how things change. So right now I don't have anybody in my hair that in my in my hair. I don't have anybody in my house that is um um well they are they are still uh, if Cora is still tender headed, but nobody gives me stress when making hair. Like everybody just sits and makes their hair. Glory to God. If you don't have children who don't like making their hair, you're not gonna understand. Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna understand. That's what led me to to relaxing and eventually cutting Cora's hair. It was because of being tender-headed at even five years. So it's actually a miracle that at three, Sophia is over it. Yes, baby. But yeah, so yesterday I made Cora's hair. I had to clean the kitchen before I was done doing everything I needed to do. I slept by 1 a.m. and woke up this morning by 6 a.m. And now I'm on the grind. I just dropped what I just dropped Cora and Eva at school. So ready to make Sophia's hair. Yay! See my own hair. I know. I just tied the scarf this morning because I was like, I couldn't be bothered. I have a wig go. I have a wig that is just shake, shake, and just wear and be going. But today I was like, I don't even want any hair to touch my body. And the weather is not hot or anything, but I'm just not in the mood. Anyway, let's go. Okay, guys. So I'm done with Sophia's hair. So Eva's hair is left. I'm going to do Eva's hair after school is done. Right now I'm at a friend's prospective house <laughs> i'm helping someone to check out a house that they want to move into so i basically just came to do viewing for them because they are not in norwich like right now so yeah that's where i am so after that viewing because right, right now the time is actually came earlier the time is actually 12 40 here so i have like 20 minutes to wait but after the viewing i will should i just go back home because viewings are not, don't usually take that long. So it's either I go back home or I'll just go and wait in Eva school. But that's going to be a long wait. I think I'll go back home. Um, see Sophia. So so. Sophia. Say hi. See her fine hair. See her fine dress. See how Sophia is dressed today, eh? What are you pressing? Give me, let me put on, let me put in. Her bag safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like your hair? Mm -hmm. You like your dress and your bag? Uh -uh. See skin popping. What's it popping? I said your skin is popping. <laughs> you shake it today. Hey guys, so I'm at Morrison's right now. I'm done with the viewing. The house is quite nice, but I don't still get it why rooms are so small in this country. Like, because this particular house, the backyard is quite big. Why didn't they take out from that backyard and <laughs> add to the house? I mean, the rooms are okay. The house is quite nice, okay? Like, it's clean and all of that. The parlor is big. The dining is big. The backyard is big. They have different storage units here. The kitchen is quite nice. The kitchen has, like... The kitchen has, like... No, the kitchen has two fridges like one fridge one standing fridge one smaller fridge and a wine fridge and a place for storing wine and stuff like that i mean it's nice but it's in my city room so i'm just like why why <laughs> why but anyway i'm sure my friend will take a shower if i if i was looking for a house and i saw that house i would actually take it but I just wish that house rooms in this country can be bigger. I mean, I'm sure they are bigger in other places, but I mean like for regular renting, okay? Especially when you consider the amount that people are paying for rent here. Like, we, we should we deserve bigger rooms. <laughs> but anyway, my Morrison's now. I think I might cook 
um i want to cook jollof rice tomorrow and carry but i don't know how i'm going to pull that off though. i don't know i'll just buy all the ingredients yeah if i don't think if i if i end up not cooking it then so be it but i really wanted to cook jollof fries and maybe pepper chicken and just carry and travel but that's going to be a lot because it will mean that because we're living by 7 a.m so it will mean that i'll have to wake up like 4 a.m or something to start preparing all these things i don't know i mean i should just cook it in the night and keep it in the fridge but i'm making hair today I'm making hair today my husband was making hair i'm making hair i'm packing i'm editing my videos i'm i even have one i'm supposed to edit and send to a brand anyway it's well it is well um so my mom said i just want to buy chicken i actually have some chicken at home but i don't think it will be enough because the chicken i bought was supposed to be for you know the house so i want to just buy some more and just you know make use to make the jello fries so that you know i can carry it i'm actually tired but i'll keep you guys updated okay see ya later <laughs> let's go <laughs> Are you happy? Don't run, don't run. Stop running. Yeah, push your cart now. Okay, chicken is not here. Are you cold? I don't even know which one I want to buy now. Like, I want just drumsticks. Drumsticks. I buy one. I buy drumsticks and wings. Don't they have one kg of wings? Okay. Let me just buy some. So I think I have everything I need for jollof rice. Ah, I didn't bring bag. I brought it back. You want what? The water gun? This one. Okay. Oh, sorry. We shoot water. We shoot water. Uh -huh. But you already have a bubble gun now. We don't need it. Yes, we need another one. So these are my peppers. I'm going to be using these um, chopped tomatoes. I like using them to cook. Like, so simple, so easy. So these tomatoes, these are pepper, onions, and well, bell pepper, sweet pepper, and onions. Then these are chicken. So this is two wings and one drumstick. And this is blended pepper that I have in the fridge. So I'm gonna be using this to chop some veggies for the meats. And also I'm going to blend the remaining, add this and use it to make the jollof rice. The, the white, white and red cooker. Red is going to be soft. No, no, I'm going to my lap. My lap is not as much as steak. Though. Anyway, you will see I'm not. The car is not the best. I know. SUV. I know. It's an SUV.
me on the floor. Hmm? Don't turn me on the light. On the seal, now my camera I only see. guys the time is 4 a.m. and I, I look terrible like I can tell that I look terrible look at the bags under my eyes I slept by 12 midnight because I was editing a video and yeah I, I had to wake up by 4 because I need to cook and I need to clear the kitchen and wash plate and clean everywhere before we leave um, I mean even if I don't clean everywhere my husband can do it, but I, I feel bad for him <laughs> because he leaves for work early, so he's going to be leaving by 7 a.m. Just basically, as we're leaving, he's leaving as well. So it means that when he now comes back from work, he'll now have to come out and start dealing with the kitchen. I don't want that, so that's why I want to quickly just cook and clean everywhere, then go and have my bath and change. Um, even though the time is 4 a.m., I know that if I, if I blink now, it will become 6.30, so I'm not even taking chances. Even this, this talk I'm talking here, nice wasting time. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go ahead now and fry the chicken and do everything. You guys, the time is currently 5.10 a.m. and see how bright everywhere is. Um, so I've parboiled rice, this is the tomato, I finished frying it, and this is the meat stock. So let me just cook the first batch of rice now. Alright guys, so the rice is ready, I now wish I had cooked more. I cooked just 4 cups, well, but I wish I had cooked more, I wish it had filled this cooler a bit. And now the meat stock is finished, Chai, I, did, I couldn't even keep some for my husband. Um, what do I do now? I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't even keep some for my husband. I mean, this one will be enough for everybody, I think. Oh, I went to fry plantain. Let me fry plantain. Let me fry plantain. That will help. Um, so I'll just fry plantain and add. The good thing is that since there's space in the cooler, I'm going to add all the chicken on top this time instead of keeping it in a separate split. So that's the chicken. That's the chicken. I think I'll just put it on top. So yeah, I've put the chicken on top. Um, there's even still space. Check. You guys remember this is my cooler from Nigeria. My husband then was telling me, what's the point? What do you need it for? Why are you carrying cooler? Now, see the point. I mean, I could have bought cooler here, but okay. At least, now see the point. <laughs> I really wish I had more meat stock because sometimes I just fry chicken or fry beef and keep. So I usually have meat stock, but I don't have now. So I would have just quickly cooked another maybe two or three cups so that my husband will have some rice. Um, even though I know he's good, yeah, there's other there are other things to eat and there's stew so he can just cook white rice when he comes back from work. Yeah, but I just wish I had cooked more. But I'm just going to fry enough plantain and fill it up just so that this cooler will be full and you know everybody eats because it's Nello and her family they are six while me and my kids we are four. Abby? No, three two one yes they don't have family at six then my kids are four so that's ten people <laughs> okay so i'm done cooking i've washed up some of the dishes remaining pots and then my cup i don't even have anything for that one right now so i'm going to tie this inside a big bag like it may be a trash bag or something right I'll tie it because this thing doesn't have, it's not a sealed lid. I don't want to hear that <laughs> this right spot because I will cry blood literally. So I need to tie this inside a bag. Thank God the chicken and the plantain entered inside. So, you know, everything is in one place. I'll now tie it maybe in two bags so that whatever happens, however we drive, the rice will remain intact until we get to London. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Bye. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Why are you excited? I'm excited because I get to see Antinello, Kofi, Kaito, and Adana. Mm -hmm. After so long. Mm -hmm. You, why are you excited? Because she's shivering. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're too cold. You have to go and wear your hoodie now. Okay, so we made this right on time. You guys, today was so chaotic. Like, so, I can't even, I can't even explain to you guys what I have done in the past two days. The amount of work I have done in the past two days. But we made it. So my plan now, even though the sunroof is open, my plan is to sleep on this journey. So very soon I'm going to close my eyes and sleep. Right now, the driver is trying to pump the tires. He just wants to, you know, make sure the tires are okay. And then we'll go. You guys should come and wait. Um, Antonella is coming. I don't even know which area she's coming from. Who will stay with them? 